Thailand, a country famous for its temples and its cooking, which contain a lot of yes, chilies. One favourite recipe in the UK is sweet Thai chilli sauce. The secret to this sauce is the chilli kick we love so much. The chilli's power comes from a chemical called capsaicin, but contrary to popular belief, its greatest concentration is in the membrane that the seeds are attached to. If you're crazy enough to bite a fresh chilli, the capsaicin is released. It reacts with taste and pain receptors on your tongue. They send urgent signals telling your brain to stop eating whatever is in your mouth. But at the same time, endorphins are released, so the body experiences pain and pleasure. Some people crave this pain-pleasure cocktail so much they enter chili eating competitions. The world record is 15 jalapenos in a minute. To make sweet chili sauce, first you need chilies. Every year during the harvest, you'll find the locals in the fields. From seed to fruit takes about 75 days, so several harvests can be made each year. The farmers know the chilies are ripe when they turn bright red. This may warn animals they're spicy and dangerous to eat, but to the farmers, this means they're ripe and ready to pick. Once they've been picked, the chilies are laid out and sorted to make sure their quality is up to scratch. Any errant green chilies are removed and any bugs are thrown out as well. The harvest is then bagged up to be collected by truck and taken to the factory. Thai cooking is popular all over the world, and the process of making this sweet, spicy sauce to accompany some Thai fish cakes starts with the chilies. First, they are ground into a paste. It's fair to say that if you ate the tiniest amount of this, it would hurt. This is pure chili. Although there's much more to this sweet sauce than chili, it is the key ingredient. To make just 140 bottles, the cooks need a massive 17 kilos of the ground paste. Well, it wouldn't be a chili sauce without it now, would it? Other ingredients include salt. And then there's mashed garlic. This batch calls for four kilos of the stuff. The first ingredient into the pot is a mix of water and vinegar. This forms the basis of the sauce. To this, the chefs will also add flour, which helps make the final sauce thicker. But the biggest addition to this mix, apart from the chilies, is sugar. Nearly 30% of the ingredients in total. That's what makes it sweet chili sauce. Everything is continually stirred to combine the ingredients while still more sugar is added in. Then once all the sugar is dissolved, it's time for the chilies. They are added using a spatula, which helps divide them up throughout the mixture. They are then followed by all that garlic. Now they can start the cooking. It takes about 30 minutes at 85 degrees Celsius to combine everything together. The staff keep a close eye on the temperature and the mixing process. Lumpy sauce wouldn't taste nearly as good. When the sauce is finished cooking, it's still quite fluid, so it all gets transferred to a new pot. This is then taken to the nearest ceiling fan and left to cool. The air flowing over the sauce cools and thickens it, giving it the traditional texture that we know and love so much.
can then be bottled up and the only thing left to do before it's sent to the customers is for the boss to have a quick taste. From the fruit on the vine to a tasty bottle of sweet Thai chili sauce.